What's up guys? Today wraps up Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. Today is Friday, June 15th, and it will it ran from Monday, June 11th through today, June uh, Friday, June 15th. Now, here is a recap video of what was announced during WWDC. Everything was everything I'm about to cover was announced Monday at the keynote speaking which started off with Siri, I think. Siri was talking to the audience, and then uh, Tim Cook got revealed. Yeah. All right, now let's talk what got announced. One of the things that got announced at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference was iOS 6, which Siri is part of, the new Siri is part of iOS 6, and iOS 6 is not coming out for everybody until the fall and it was released on Monday, June 11th to developers, so I guess developers can make their apps and stuff to work with uh, iOS 6. Now Siri is now coming, with iOS 6, Siri is now coming to the, uh, the new iPad, which is the third generation iPad. It is not coming to the first generation. And uh, now some things that you can ask Siri is you are to, able to ask Siri to open up an app well, to launch an app, and like you can be like Siri, you can hold down the home button, and Siri, you can ask Siri to open up Temple Run or something like that. That's the example that they gave. But you can have Siri, any app that you have on your phone, you can have Siri open it for you now with iOS 6. Siri can now also give you stats on pa past games of like the Giants and like football, any sports or anything, uh, any sports related. Siri can now just give you. Uh, stats right there on the Siri application and you don't have to go to the internet and browse for it. The next thing that got announced with iOS 6 was the Facebook integration. Facebook is now integrated into the iOS 6 uh, operating system. It is now part of your notifications so when you take the scroll thing from the top and you scroll down you have now you're able to uh, click on it and you guys are able to directly post something to Facebook if you guys want it to just as well as Twitter. Now here's a cool phone feature that I, I really like when they announced this on Monday. It's you're able to so if somebody's calling you and you 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 don't want to pick up the phone or you're in a meeting or something here's a good way to deny the call. You guys are automatically able to deny the call and then it has you guys are able to send a message directly to that person that just called you saying there's preset messaging messages saying I'll call you back after I get out of the meeting or something to that effect and you guys can just click on that message and it'll send it directly to that person so if you're real busy and you look down at your phone real quick and you see that you have a call from somebody you just hit deny and send with the message it's pretty cool Another thing was now that they upgraded, well they updated, I'm going to say not, up, well I'm going to basically say upgraded. Uh, they upgraded, I, I'm at FaceTime and you guys are now able to not have to have Wi-Fi to use FaceTime. You guys are able to use your phone, your cellular connection. You guys can be anywhere in the world and if you have cellular, cellular connection, you guys are able to now use FaceTime. You don't have to depend on Wi-Fi. I think that's pretty cool. And they should have had done that in the first place. Now here's something that is like really awesome. You guys are able, there's a new Safari, so, and it's connected to iCloud. So you can be on your iPhone, say you're out eating breakfast at iHop or something like that. And you're searching the web on Safari and uh, you get back home and you want to pull it up on your computer. Now when you come, if your iOS devices are all connected to iCloud, you guys are able to... Uh, go right on your iMac or whatever your Mac and uh, pull up that same browser wherever you were pull that right back up on your Mac now that's pretty awesome I think let me know what you guys think down in the comments another thing was Passbook Passbook is basically if you guys are going to the airport or Starbucks you guys are able to get your like for instance if you're at the airport you guys can get your your itinerary, itinerary right in your phone right on your home screen yeah, it's, on, it's going to be right on the lock screen. You guys just click on it and your information comes up. And your boarding pass also comes up as well. And they can just scan it. You put your phone under the scanner and it, it, it scans it. Another thing is new maps. Now, maps 
you guys, the new maps that they announced was you guys are able to go onto the maps application and you're actually able to see a 3D look of like the buildings and anything. So if, say if you wanted to like uh, see the 3D, all the buildings in LA in 3D, you guys are able to zoom in, go down by the street and stuff. You guys are able to see it all in 3D. Also, there's now turn by turn directions that actually speaks to you as you're coming up on the, the turn or whatever and it's pretty awesome. Now there's a new find my phone feature. Now with this, if you say if you lose your phone, uh, you have no idea where it is, and somebody finds it, you guys are able to send a message to your phone, and whoever sees that, me well, whoever grabs your phone, they're able to see that message, and you guys can have them call that number that's on your screen, and then they can give you your phone back. Now it once you lock your phone, you uh, it's gonna automatically, and somebody finds it, like you lost your phone, it's gonna automatically. Get, give the coordinates of where that location, where the location of the phone is. I think that's pretty awesome. Now that's every, basically everything that covered all the major things that cover iOS. The new things coming in iOS 6. Let me know what you guys think about what else you guys think Apple should have added into iOS 6 down in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think. And uh, now some new things, new products that were announced. Apple released a new MacBook Pro and a new MacBook Air and a new Mac Pro. That's the desktop. Now the new MacBook Air that they announced, they are saying that it's hundred dollars cheaper. Now the 11 inch is starting is now starting at 9.99, and the 13 inch is now starting at. Now the new MacBook Airs that they announced, it's just a really faster computer. It's just a really uh, upgrade from the previous MacBook MacBook Airs that were out. It's just really a faster computer. I'm not going to get into tech specs and everything. Now, the new MacBook Pro that was announced, now that is coming with the 15 inch Retina, I mean, the 15 inch is now coming with the Retina display. They have a 13 inch and a 15 inch MacBook Pro of the old models that are still on sale, but they have stopped making the 17 inch. They are, they are now not selling the 17 inch MacBook Pros. The 15 inch MacBook Pro with the Retina display has now an HDMI cable uh, port that you're able to plug up your HDMI cable to your computer and hook it up directly to a TV or projector or whatever. Now if you have not seen the new MacBook Pro with the Retina display, it, it, it does not have a optical drive which is the CD drive that you're able to put CDs into. It does not have that and I don't, that's not going to really bother me because I, I barely like watch DVDs or listen to CDs or whatever. I really just stream my music online. Also, the new MacBook Pro with Retina display just has better tech specs. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into those. That wraps up my recap video of the Worldwide Developers Conference. Thanks for, for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys click the like button down, down below the video. That helps me out a lot, and I will very much appreciate it. And to see more tech videos like this and more into-depth tech videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys check out my daily vlog channel. I do daily vlogs. I upload them every other day. Uh, YouTube.com slash Phipps Arts. That's my last name. And then A-R-T-S. That's at the bottom of your screen right now. And, uh, and also in the description, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Facebook. My Twitter is at underscore techonomics, and that's at the bottom of your screen right now. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I do post my videos, and I do tweet a lot. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. Make sure you guys also check out my live web show that I do every other Friday. I'm actually doing a show live tonight, so when you see this video on June 15th, I am doing a live show. Uh, live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's actually 5.42 when I'm recording this video, so I gotta get ready. Make sure you guys check out the website for that, www.dnashow.webs.com. That's at the bottom of your screen, and it's also in the description. And I will see you guys either in my next tech video, or in my vlogs, or live tonight. So, peace!